Casio are a name most consumers probably don't know. Producing everything from headsets to keyboards at very reasonable prices, Casio tends to fly below the radar. They also make solid mechanical keyboards, mice, and headsets for their higher-end audiences. Normally, I wouldn't be in the market for something as nice as their higher-end keyboards, but luckily for me, Ozio was kind enough to give me an MK Retro keyboard just for unboxing and review for all of you. Being a fan of typewriters and a fan of mechanical keyboards, I figured that their MK Retro keyboard was a shoo-in. I was not wrong. The retro styling will no doubt not please everyone, but for my money, I love the look of the rounded keys with their raised rims and metal around the edges. That look, in addition to the fact that it's a full mechanical keyboard, were more than enough to satisfy me. The keyboard arrived in a nicely appointed box, I'll link the unboxing video right now, and you can watch the full unboxing video if you really want to see the whole box. I do want to correct one thing I said in that video, while it appears that there were no adjustments to how much of an angle the board could sit at, in reality I needed to turn the back feet to change the height of the board, and then the angle. Each turn locks the board into a different angle, and there's lots of adjustments for those that like their keyboards on a slant, rather than, you know, flat on the table. That being said, let's get to the features of this keyboard. The most striking feature of this keyboard, and the one that most people will presumably purchase it for, is the look. Each key is round in shape, with an inner keycap of piano black, with a white letter printed on it, and an outer border of shiny silver material. These round keycaps sit atop a pole that goes down in to recessed switches, giving the typing surface of the board a clean, floating look that I love. The keys are rounded, and the design is clearly inspired by a piano, as well as old typewriters. It's completely oozing with class. Ozio says that the socketed switch design means that less dust and grime get into the switch, and I personally think it looks better too. The rounded keycaps easily pop out, revealing a standard keycap cross, so if you really wanted to, or if you're like Rob and you lose key, you could easily replace it. However, since the switches are sunken into the board's deck, most standard keycaps will probably not fit on top. Underneath those unique keys are a set of full mechanical switches. The website says that they are tactile and clicky and blue, and this is in quotes, but not who made them. I assume that since they mentioned blue that it's made by Cherry, but I can't say for sure. The switches themselves are also green in color, which cherries are not. Cherry blue switches are blue. Still, pressing every single key on the board, it feels nice and clicky. And as is suggested, it's tactile and clicky. The Azio MK Retro also offers full end key rollover, which means you should never have an issue with pressing every single key on the board at once. Even if you smash your face into it, which I do not recommend because those little keys are sort of pointy, your PC will still pick up all the letters you smash your hand down or face onto. To test this, I typed out about 15 letters at once using my arm, and I was immensely pleased to find that they all showed up on screen. So, I can personally confirm that the MK Retro does indeed have more end key rollover than you could ever need, since you only have 10 fingers. This is a full-size keyboard, so those of you who are looking for extra desk space probably should move along right now. Along the top roll is your normal functions key set, and an additional function is assigned to each key. I won't bore you with what function is where, but the vast majority of these keys are things like media controls and quick access to programs. The lights that denote the number lock, caps lock, and scroll lock are also uniquely styled to resemble older style light bulbs. The retro is, however, missing dedicated volume and media keys, something I would have liked to have seen. Other than that, it's got everything you need. It took me a little while to adapt to the feeling of typing on the MK Retro, mostly, I think, because the keys are round rather than the standard square layout, and the numpad is also a little bit closer together than most keyboards, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for data entry. Finally, you have a 6-foot braided USB cable to connect it to your PC. I love this cable. Braided cables always last longer, and they just look better. Unfortunately, there are no USB pass-throughs or cable management. Let's move on to build quality. Right away, if you watched my unboxing and saw this, I accidentally popped off a keycap. So they aren't exactly on tight. I don't think this is really a bad thing, since removing keys on any mechanical keyboard is a feature rather than a problem. And the board is fairly light at just 2.3 pounds. This makes it great for travel. Normally, I would complain about a keyboard this light, but since it has large rubber feet, it doesn't slide around at all. The keycaps feel solid, and despite being made of plastic, and even with my meddling, I was unable to damage the keycaps. Although I did lose one. Overall, I like this keyboard. With blue switches giving a satisfying click and great feel, I haven't been able to test or verify the claims of dust and liquid resistance, but since the switches themselves are recessed into the board's deck, they should be able to take a spill or two without shorting out. The black and chrome color scheme looks super clean, and honestly is probably going to be what attracts most people to this board. The oddly shaped round and slightly concave keycaps may put some people off at first, but I found that after a few hours of practice I was able to achieve my normal word per minute. For 110 US dollars, this keyboard is a bit expensive, but I can understand the price based off the type of person Ozio expects to buy this board. Most of them probably don't worry about the price point when they're buying things for their desks. If you like shiny retro style finishes and you have a desk full of them, this keyboard is, you can get all of this and all of Azio's other products at http colon slash slash aziocorp.com. I'm Fiona Fox. Thanks for joining us for this review.